Hey guys, so today I'm here with the Insane Audio Digital TV module. This is gonna be for all of you Wrangler owners that already have the Insane Audio Navigation Head Unit and you're looking to take it to a whole new level by adding that HD TV. If you love to go out camping and if you're tailgating or you're just waiting to pick your kids up from the bus, this is gonna keep you occupied and basically be a mobile TV inside your cab area. It's gonna be roughly $200 at the moment for the add-on, but I think that money is definitely worth it when you're adding a mobile TV inside the cab. Install is gonna be a very easy one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, and it's gonna follow the same process as installing your head unit with just adding a couple of wires. So let's jump into that install. So in order to install our Insane Audio TV antenna, we need to rip apart our dash so we can get to the back of our head unit. If you want to see a step-by-step -step install on how to put that head unit in, you can go check out the product page for the Insane Audio Navigation head unit. So let's rip apart our dash so we can install our antenna. So out of the box, you're going to get a couple of different components. You're going to have this long wire, which will be your antenna wire. You can mount this up wherever you like. You can mount it on your roll bar or underneath your dash. And it will come with some 3M adhesive tape as well, so you can really stick it wherever you're going to have a good signal. Along with your antenna and the antenna wires, you're going to have these two little antennas that screw on. So be aware of where you're mounting this because this will be a lot bigger than this little box. So after you've figured out where you want to mount your antenna, you can take your HDTV module and connect it to your antenna wire. You can hand thread it on and then tighten it down with an eight millimeter wrench. This won't come with anything to mount this up like your antenna wire did with the 3M tape on the back, but you will have enough room under your head unit to mount this. After you have your antenna connected to your HD TV module, you can attach your wiring harness from the module to your head unit. So you will have a wiring diagram on the top of your head unit, but it will be this middle connector here. So after all of your components are attached, we can clean up our wiring and mount up our head unit.
So after your head unit is in, you can attach this box wherever you like. We had some 3M tape laying around. We are just gonna 3M it to our head unit. Since we have enough space underneath the head unit for that. So once you have all of your wiring tucked and cleaned up, we can reassemble our dash. So this system will be compatible with the JK2001 like we have here. It's also compatible with the older JK1001 as well as the TJ models, which is the TJ1002. So if you go into your apps, you'll see your Insane TV down at the bottom right hand corner. Uh, it may be configured different, but this will be your application. And then you can go in and look at all of your settings. So this is your program, you can set up your sort settings, you can set up your pictures, your aspect ratios, resolution, TV format, and then you can go over to the channel search and format all of that. Once you go back to the home screen, it'll bring up an installation guide, put in your language, put in your country, and then you can go down to channel search and you should be able to find your channel. You have your channel search and then you also just have some more basic settings. Setting your time and your time zone. You also have options for languages as well as basic settings. And if you ever have to update your software, you can go into the software update and do it that way as well as open up your GPS SD card and you'll be able to transfer over the software files through here. What I do really like about this is that it will not function if the vehicle is in motion, so it does have safety precautions while you're using the TV. So that's gonna be it for my review and install on the Insane Audio Digital TV module. For more videos like this, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.